I grew up in the deep west side where my grandfather had created his print shop. I grew up on the west side of San Antonio too and we were Bettis, we lived on Bettis Street, we had a grocery store and a bakery. In an era of some discrimination against Latinos, we didn't know it. We were in this cocoon. It was like a uh, community. And I remember my dad telling me, your job is to take it beyond what the first generation did. It was about being a servant. Henry and Mary Alice are both true altruistic people. We're talking about people who have actually made things happen. The action in American social justice is at the block, the neighborhood, the city level. This was the era of uh, every, every mayor had been handpicked. They handpicked the city council, they handpicked the mayor. And I was on the selection committee, and I think each candidate had 15 minutes to make his presentation. Henry changed that. He challenged that system. And after 1980, we had the new districts. Six, five, minority, majority. The business establishment believed the city was about to burned down. Henry never was an activist as such. Uh, he just felt there were certain things that needed to be changed, and I think he was right. My theme was always, we're too poor, and we've got to increase incomes. We needed jobs, and I remember the day that he came in and said that's what he wanted to do. He not only had ideas, he had, he had ways to accomplish them. You see Henry's imprint in so many ways. Projects like River Center and the Alamo Dome, SeaWorld. He had a group of business people he'd meet with regularly. Uh, it was an incredible a list he'd have. It would be 15 or 20 things. And then by golly, he was able to execute. He gave us access to the national leaders, business and government, like we've never had before or since. I guess about the time that Mondale asked him to interview for the vice president position. At that point, I thought, this is big time now. You know, you just have to sort of step out, balancing the job and the family. And woman spouse um, really needs to be strong. Mary Alice was always grounded in the community. They could have lived in any very wealthy suburb or neighborhood, not just in Texas, but throughout the country. And yet they chose to come back to their roots. The job route rate in San Antonio, where we live, where we were raised, where we did community service, was still very high. 40 to 45 percent, and so it became obvious that if we were going to be part of the solution, we should do something. And you have to take a language, you know? Four years ago, I was able to meet Henry and Mary Alice. They decided to give back, and Mary Alice absolutely is the driving force behind this because she is so passionate and she cares about people. This is not an after-school program. This is not a daycare. This is really an academic enrichment program where the kids can come for free and get help with their homework. Do you like math? Student grades are increasing. Students are passing on state standardized tests. We each have something to give back to our community, and we both, Henry and I, realized it at a very early stage in our lives. So when is the best time to do the call? I had always admired the people who built things. Today, I'm vice chairman of Habitat for Humanity globally. In this era when we need more mixed income housing, sustainable housing, that's the right thing to do. When you think about the work that Henry and Mary Alice have done through the decades, it is a continuation of their family's story. And I truly believe that if we each help in our little one square mile, we could do a lot more for San Antonio. Creating prosperity involves 
dealing with human needs. And we're well behind in Texas. We need to have state policies that begin to reflect the reality of needs in Texas. Henry and Mary Alice uh, complement each other so well. They work together beautifully. Both of them have the same qualities of planning, executing, and getting things done. I can't say that Henry and Mary Alice have to remember their roots. They're still firmly implanted right there on San Antonio's west side.